What's up guys? I hope you're having a sparkling day. So it's been two months now that we are living in a rooftop tent and I think it is time now for this video to tell you five things I hate about rooftop tents. Like this so it's open and here it's open as well but still when it's very very hot it's not uh, enough and you have to be very careful because when it's open um, if it starts raining suddenly you have to run and close it from inside so it's not very practical and it's not very efficient as well three the light so this one is more about the inside so come with me So right now, as you can see, this side is open, but usually when we have uh, rain or um, some wind or when it's cold, uh, such as we will have in a few months, we will leave everything closed just like this side right here, because once again, if we leave it open, then the cold will get inside too quickly. And when it's closed, then we can't see anything, so we can see um, the weather, we can't see if there's someone coming, we can't see, um, I mean, nothing. We can't even uh, enjoy some daylight because uh, it gets very dark inside, so it's a little bit frustrating because when it's raining outside, we still want to have some, some daylight, of course, but with this kind of uh, equipment, we can't. Um, so that's, that's a shame. And the last thing about the light, as I told you, it's mostly when it's raining because we can't leave it open. We had 25 days of rain in Norway, so it was a little bit of a bummer. We, <laughs> we couldn't enjoy the daylight, we have to go out, but when it's very, very raining, uh, we can't, like, we don't want to go out. So we spent quite a few days inside and it was a little bit depressing. Four. Even though I really like it for so many reasons, it's still not practical. Um, when we have to find a town spot, we have to keep in mind to be able to have enough space around us to live. We need at least uh, two cars space uh, to be able to park it. Um, once again, it's made of uh, fabric, so. You, we don't want to park in a simple parking lot, we want to have some privacy, we want to feel uh, safe, 
so we have to be a little bit uh, further away and still it's not very practical when we have to unpack but mostly when we have to pack because it took us around an hour to do it so um, we have to move everything uh, that is inside not everything but most of the thing that we put inside we have to remove it to be able to close it and then we have to draw actually <laughs> Jordan has to do it and go on top of the car to close it so it's a little bit of uh, work and we can't simply stay and go. Five and probably uh, something that is so important for me um, I love to sleep and I love to sleep in a good mattress and this one uh, is not very good for me. The mattress that is inside is not very thick. Actually, I can show it to you real quickly. So this is uh, the mattress and this is the thickness and this is how thick it is. So not very much and it's not very comfortable and comfy and, and sometimes I would like to have something a little bit bigger to be able to move around and be comfortable just like in the cloud or <laughs> in my bed and because I love you so 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 much guys I have a bonus so number six uh, the rooftop tent is actually quite an expensive so this one cost around uh, 1000 euro so it's something that you have to put on top of all the other expenses that you are already uh, making it's not very expensive but still it's a little bit of a budget so you have to keep that in mind so there are as many ways to travel as there are travelers and you have to keep in mind what is important for you. For us, we choose this option because we wanted to be able to live mostly outside. Uh, the rooftop tent is only here for us when we have to sleep. Uh, the rest of our day is outside or when we have to drive, obviously it's inside the car. But we cook outside, we live outside. So we knew that uh, with the weather we will have to face some uh, difficult moments but it's nothing compared to all the joy that we have and this is what we choose. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow my adventure you can subscribe to this channel. You can also check my Instagram account and my Facebook page. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon!